a more and more uh, smaller and smaller in terms of what the child is doing. And phonological awareness, again, is all about what you hear. There are no letters yet. And so if you say to a child, the dog barked, and you want the child to break that sentence up into segments, that sentence segmentation, they would say, oh, that's the dog barked. And then if you say to the child, what am I, what sentence am I saying? The, wait, 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 pool is blue. Oh, the pool is blue. So they can hear that that, that fits together and they can break it apart. This is also very difficult for kids, not usually at the segmentation sentence level, but next you go to syllables, next you go to onset and rhyme, and there was another like confusing thing for me, onset and rhyme. How many people know what onset and rhyme is? It just like drove me crazy in the beginning because all of the explanations were too confusing for me. But onset and rhyme is if you take a syllable, like if you have the word catnip, and you take the first syllable, the C or the K sound is the onset, and the rest of the syllable is the rhyme, R-I-M-A, I didn't misspell it. Um, and so it is, has to do with word families, and it has to do with the vowel and the ending. Um, and so kids are just slowly making it smaller and smaller. And then the pinnacle of this experience is when you can break a word down into its individual phonemes. That's called phonemic awareness. Okay, so usually, like people are thinking at this point, yeah, so. And I thought that too. I was so cocky, and then I did it, and they didn't do what I'm going to do for you. They, they were worse. They had to stand up and give our answer in front of other people. I will never do that after what I experienced. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hand out um, I'm going to hand out this activity that is designed to be done with um, like preschoolers or kindergartners. It's a phonemic awareness activity. I have whited out and recopied it so that you cannot see what the answers are. And I just want people to take a minute to you know get a pencil out. You can talk to your partner, pair share, whatever. Um, and in a couple of minutes, I'm going to ask you to segment the words into phonemes. And as you're doing this, I want you to remember that this is the hardest thing for most children with Down syndrome. So if they did not stop that rhyming, you can bet they stopped that phonemic awareness. But the difference is that you cannot learn to read without being able to segment and blend phonemes. So you can't just move on. And what people did was they moved on to sight word programs, which basically meant that the child could never read an unknown word because they were unable to segment and blend sounds together. 